Mr. Easy seems to be rubbing shoulders with the big shots in Hollywood as he was seen pictured with a lot of the fans, a lot of people that like we're seriously fanning over right now. People from the famous movie Black Panther. Now, following the Oscars that happened recently, Mr. Easy was spotted at the Vanity Fair after party that happened in conjunction with Apple Music. Now, Mr. Easy was seen pictured with stars like Daniel Kaluuya, Lupita Nyogo, Chadwick Boseman, Tyler Perry. Even did he? I mean, like, Mr. Easy is like, he's like, he's alright. Like, you can't even hate on this story. Like, if you, if you hate on this story, then you're definitely just a hater. Yeah, I feel Mr. Easy is popping right now. I mean, I even saw on, uh, I think, like, a feed off Apple Music where he was voted alongside, I think, BB Rex as the voice of the month. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know if that's, the, if that's the correct term. But I mean, Mr. Easy is popping and he seems to have, like, a lot of overseas coverage because the people people are in london the us they seem to like actually like mr, mr. easy, easy you know yes. what i mean even more than nigerians sometimes i think about it okay so do you think that at this thing as we like you know we, we in nigeria we cancelled mr easy when he said that yeah um, his Ghanaian affiliation the nigerian music draws um, inspiration from Ghanaian yeah, music yeah. but anyway who do you think that Mr. Easy being at this uh, after uh, Oscars after party? Do you think he was trying to get some new connects for new music, or he was just chilling? Yeah, I think it was a it was a probably a mixture of both. You know what I mean? I think that was a post Oscar after party. So uh, yeah, chilling with uh, if you look at the people in Hollywood, and he was mingling with the cast of Black Panther. That was just chilling. But in between there, there was a there was a post with Diddy, mm. and of course there were some musicians there who obviously know about Mr. Easy because he's a uh, popping, so okay. to speak. So yeah, I think it was a mixture of both, and I hope that Mr. Easy hits us with some more good music like he did, I think, two years ago. Because this year I and mean, last year wasn't too. I like Pommy Water. Ah. Uh, I think it's redundant, to be honest. I think like... Uh, you're just repeating Yeah, you're just like, Bomb like, water. I like it, sir. Yeah, it's a good song, but I, I think it's one of those songs that you get tired of. Okay. I've had so many listens, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah, I think he had more range with his, uh, you know, the time when he was uh, I don't know, but he likes skin tight, you know? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leading model Hayley Baldwin graces the March 2018 cover of Vogue Turkey. Posing alongside Valentine Rontez, the blonde beauty poses in a sequin jacket and feather embellished boot from Saint Laurent. Inside the fashion glossy, Hayley shows off her moves in a dance inspired spread alongside Valentine and Rocky Harwood. Stylist Konka Alkez dresses the 21 year old in the designs of Calvin Klein, Dolce & Gabbana and more. <laughs> Okay guys, Kim Kardashian came to her husband's defense on social media when a fan that goes by the handle Yeezy Mafia said that Kanye West invited our fans to a showroom in Paris, but the showroom was empty. So Kim was really upset and then said that you're in no way affiliated with um, Yeezy and you, you're not an official, so why do you feel like you can say something that is incorrect? And then the person now went on to delete the tweet and then tweet again and say, oh, that the showroom wasn't actually empty, it was filled with boots for boots that had been seen in Italy. Now, um, somebody else now said that, oh, it's so unfair that if some other handles can have Kanye's name, that this person shouldn't be allowed to have Yeez associated with the handle and then speaking ill of Kanye. So Kim said, trust me, I've made some calls. Okay, Kim. <laughs> but then, like, what? You, obviously, I totally agree with this person. Like, if you're using the name Yeezy or affiliated with Kanye West, you shouldn't be spreading false information or something that hurt the brand. Yeah, the point there is that even that that handle has a blue tick, exactly. so the handle is verified, and you expect them to give information that has been verified. Of but course. you know, Kim Kardashian being one of the um, best followed stars on the social media sphere. She definitely probably has made some calls to the owners of, of Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is. But, uh, when she, when I saw that, you know, I've already made some calls. I thought about it like, you know, that can happen. Shaking in the boots. That, that can happen. He because, had the guy shaking in the boots. And I'm sure if maybe a few days from now, or maybe even today, if we go back on Twitter or social media and check, you'll see maybe the blue take has been removed, taken down. On the strength of Kim Kardashian's complaints, we have to keep a keen eye out for that. Right, yeah.